Ugh, I just had the weirdest dream. Something was hit by a meteor. Oh wait, no, that wasn't a dream. Hey guys, it's me, Pablo Escobar Productions here, and we're back at it again with some city skylines for the last time. And you know, we haven't had the best luck so far with our past two cities, but I think this time we're gonna do just right. We're gonna have a functioning, perfect city, and nothing is going to go wrong. And you know, I finally realised where I went wrong last time. You see, we had tropical islands and temperate fields, but that doesn't bring people together. No! What brings people together is the horrible effects of winter. Because nothing says gotta get some work done than your piss freezing midstream. Oh, do you smell that, boys? That's the smell of possibility. And mostly dead raccoons. Why are that, why is that smell so potent? We've been through this a million times. You guys know how the start of a city begins. You start with a road, a dream, and a couple dead raccoons, and you got yourself a party of people ready to move in. Of course, the type of people willing to move into a horrible, desolate winter wasteland filled with dead animals are only the best type of people, like furries and serial killers. But alas, the anywhere I go, I will always be followed by the horrible, disgusting, atrocious brand that is Big Bite. Although with all the dead animals around, I can see exactly why they'd move into this town. Free meat for everyone, I suppose. But anyway, don't mind me, just going for a quick bite at Big Bite. Oh, a nice relaxing campgrounds for all the people of our city to enjoy in a nice tucked away area of the city, away from the noise and the traffic. Oh, I should probably should have put that in a better spot, shouldn't I? Wait a second, Springdale? That doesn't sound right. Come on down to Shittington, the latest and greatest town with a population of 2,433 and growing. Shittington promises to give you that cosy winter getaway feeling with such popular attractions as the cross-country skiing park. Wait, what? Did, did we just not have the budget for a fucking ski hill? C come on, they're, they're literally just skiing on flat ground. It's not fun! And boy, if the cross-country flat surface skiing didn't sound fun enough, we've got a whole plethora of places for you to visit. Most of them under the big... Big Bite brand, unfortunately. But what do you do if your Big Bite suddenly just disappears out of thin air? Well, that, that is prone to happen with Big Bite, so don't worry. All you have to do is turn around, head down the street, and voila, there's five more Big Bite. Oh boy, nothing says quiet corner shop like 12-story building with flashing neon signs on the outside. Come on down for a pick and mix, boys. Feeling a bit peckish after playing a bit of... Slippy slidey ice ball? Well don't worry, go on down to the local Big Bite, sponsored by Big Bite, Big Bite, Big Bite, Big Bite! You know you'd think in freezing conditions, fire wouldn't do that well, but apparently in my city, fire's doing extremely well. Shittington is such a great city that people don't even mind moving in next door to houses that are on fire, because hey, your heating bill just got 50% cheaper for this year. Well shucks I sorrow, Shittington sounds great, but what what about the nightlife? Well, come on down to the Dead Meme Arena where you can watch your favourite dead memes of the past come back to life one last time to go head to head with other dead memes. This week, we're bringing back Doge the Dog versus the girl from I'm in my mum's car video. Shittington is great, but what we're really missing is a bit of culture. And thankfully in this game, there are no repercussions for stealing great monuments from other countries. So can we all get a round of applause for Big Bite Tower, the Great Clock Tower, to totally not called Big Ben Clock Tower. Oh, the city's really starting to come along now, we've got a clock to- wait a sec. Oh, for fuck's sake, I- for fuck's sake, you put Big Ben down and fucking Jeremy Corbyn- Oh wait, that's not Jeremy Corbyn, that's Lenin. Oh, I should have known better, you put people in cold climates, so you think communism. Oh no, this really isn't starting to look good, things are getting colder and thus the communists are growing stronger, they're everywhere. Well, there's only one- one cure for communism, and boy, I'm not, I'm not too happy about doing this. All right, I didn't want, I didn't want Shittington to turn into it, but 
We need some freedom! Oh no, even the Statue of Liberty's not freedom enough. It's just too goddamn cold. We're gonna have to heat this place up. Okay, last resort. We're gonna put down a university, all right? And that's gonna teach people that communism wasn't the best I... Oh, they're... Oh, I've... I've... I've made a big mistake. Well, I've had no choice but to build a capitalist mega city. That's right, we need to warm this place up. And what better way to do it than destroying the planet with fumes? We're gonna burn fuel. We're gonna burn people. We're gonna burn books. We're gonna burn private ownership of prop. Wait a second, I'm turning communist. I've been in the cold for too long. Well, the factories weren't working quick enough to deplete the ozone layer, so I just set them on fire, which is doing a great job and is having an amazing effect on the communists. Communism, sponsored by Big Bite. It's exactly what Lenin would have wanted. Okay, it's been a whole year. I've been just pumping out fuels and chemicals, and for some reason, the city hasn't turned into the Sahara Desert. I think I might be missing something about this whole global warming thing. You know, I'm starting to put two and two together here, the communists and the big bite. If you think about it, communism and big bite are actually pretty similar. And I'm not saying there's some sort of underground corporate secret plan to replace me with a communist regime. And I'm definitely not saying with said communist regime being in power that they'd replace the bread lines with big bite lines? They're the only restaurant in town! <gasps> and you know, these rival factories to Big Bite that keep going on fire, I thought were down to global warming we're trying to promote, but I think they're not. And why, you might ask? Well, every time one of them burns down, every Big Bite in the city gets a happy face over it. Well, I'm, I'm just being silly, all right? Let's focus on bigger issues, all right? Like the fact that there's a high crime rate at the crematorium. What the fuck are you stealing at the crematorium? Yeah, I just noticed a street that just came off my city that I'm pretty sure I didn't build. What? Is that the the meme? Big dead meme arena? How how the hell did that get here? Did I, did we take it down? I'm I'm not entirely sure what this is. I mean, there's an ice hockey rink and just some abandoned signs and. Oh look, it's a set for Storage Wars! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna run home and watch some Storage Wars. Why? Wait, wait a second. Is that? What the hell is this? Wait, wait a second, they knew exactly that I'd get distracted by storage wars, it's my one weakness! Why the hell is everybody wearing red? What? Where the hell does this go? Oh, it's such a long winding path, but I think we've gotten to the end. There's, there's a lot of... A lot of... Oh my god! The legends were true, it's for Big Bite! Sponsored by Big Bite. It was true this whole time. Big Bite's been trying to lead a communist revolution so they can take over the world and be the sole provider of crunchy, tasty food. We're gonna have to sit on this Big Bite thing for a while because apparently people are starting to get randomly sick in the city. And I've started putting two and two together, all right? The crematorium, do you remember it? High crime rate? Well, a man from Big Bite turns up there in a white van every Every Friday night, and it can only mean one thing. Big Bite is people, and it's making everybody sick. What other reason could it be? It couldn't be that I'm pumping sewage water directly into the clean water. Oh, wait, wait. We need to act all right. The city is not looking good. Everybody's getting ill. They're loving Big Bite still. They say they can't get enough of the taste. I've even met a contact that says he can help me bring down the Big Bite empire. I just need to go meet him at the airport. Oh, God, no. Big Bite's already got to him before I did. And it's crunch time. Wait a second. This could be the break we need. The Big Bite factories are running out of raw materials. Material. Uh, mostly down to the, um, the, the policies I put in place to absolutely set the city on fire and heat it up. But don't worry, I think this will give us the break we need to hit Big Bite where it hurts. Oh, oh no, I've angered the Big Bite gods. They're calling in tornadoes against the entire city. Oh no, these people never did anything wrong except, you know, pump out tons of fuel waste and throw their rubbish off the top floor of the apartment buildings and then some tramp lives in them and burns them in the fucking... 
Oh, actually, we did quite a bit bad, didn't we? But four big bites stand strong still. I, I'm not gonna let this happen, alright? I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to call in our secret military strike against them. We need to take them out once and for all. That's right, I'm gonna have to launch a, a, a meteorite into Big Bite HQ. That's right, How, how'd you like your burgers, mate? Irradiated? Oh, wait, you do? Oh, shit. I, I don't know what was happening. The tornadoes are still going and more meteorites are coming down. Why, why are we being punished? All we did was try to uh, destroy the pl Oh, wait a sec. Oh god, so there's, there's not many people left, all right? They're all hiding out at Big Bite Tower, the last safe bastion for humanity. The, the Big Bite Tower. We need to protect it with a... Well, you know, to be fair, it was next to a fucking statue of Lenin. So, yeah, see you later, Lenin. Oh, God, this war was good for nobody. Everybody's fucking dead. There are no big bites. Well, there are actually millions. Big bites, surprisingly, is the only thing that's really still standing in this fucking city. Well, now to make things even better. Well, the rivers have flooded and anyone that might still be alive is going to drown by horrible, horrible, dirty sewage water. But still, why don't you come on down and visit my city? Whilst it might be irradiated, flooded, and slightly destroyed, guess what? You can still get a ride on the blimp. And when it lands, you'll probably drown. Oh, okay, I got some bad news. Apparently, uh, that whole Big Bite conspiracy thing, yeah, none of that was actually true. I'm just delusional. And apparently, they've been trying to tell me about these weather warnings for three months, but I didn't bother to, to read any of the messages because I was too busy looking into a conspiracy about Big Bite. Yeah, appar apparently the guy that from Big Bite that was visiting the crematoriums, he, he wasn't actually stealing bodies to make food out of, he was he was just fucking them. So, uh, I, I think I'm going, going to go to prison for a little bit, but I, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Remember to leave a like and hey, at least, at least Big Bite's gone forever now, guys. But uh, I, I guess until next time, see, see you later, guys.